Hi everybody, I'm Bree the Plant Lady. And I'm Aiden. And I'm Abby. And uh, it's day two of spring break, which means we're gonna put out gravel. This is like the worst spring break ever. And uh, before we do that though, Abby is getting ready to start driver's ed. Yeah. Like, what, next week? I think so, yeah. So we've decided that today is the day that she's gonna learn how to go in reverse with a trailer because it's one of the most important skills that any person can have. Mm -hmm. And it's a skill that is often not taught to women, which is super annoying. I've witnessed this many times at the boat ramp where you can actually see like marriages unfold as a result of trying to get a boat put into the water and the man is the only one who knows how to go in reverse and knows how to run the boat. So we're gonna just stop that cycle right now and get you trained up. Cause I didn't learn to do this until I was in my mid twenties because nobody bothered to teach me when I was a teenager. And Aiden has this skill down pat. Yeah. So really between the two of us, you are in really good hands. So wish her luck everybody. We're gonna record it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our first challenge is just getting the cat to cooperate. We've, we've got Abby in the driver's seat, which is pretty exciting. <laughs> Now, let me try and grab this cat. Real left, the trails on your right. So it's kind of the opposite. And this is where I learned to do this by looking backwards out the window. Because okay. mm -hmm. I learned how to do this with a, tra with a tractor. Yes. So for your first time, I don't want you to get confused by the mirrors. Because the mirrors are kind of the opposite. Yeah. So I just want you to... Position yourself where you are going to be looking out that back window and then you're going to get, you're going to feel it pretty quickly when you turn the wheel a little bit, you're going to, it'll make sense in your mind the way the trailer moves based off of the wheel movement. Okay. So I still haven't gotten the cat. I'm not putting it inside. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll let you, cause you have nothing but open space out here. So then we'll let you just like slowly go backwards and then turn the wheel a little bit and you'll see how the trailer reacts okay. to it. And then if you get wonky, you just put it in drive and pull straight mm -hmm. and then you can start the process all over again. Okay. I, I promise you like three or four tries, it all will make sense. <laughs> <laughs> We're basically in a comedy show with the Golden Panther who's obsessed with the trailer There you go, good job. Now, if you turn the wheel just a little bit one way or the other, you'll feel how it moves. I count that as a success. <laughs> now we get to unload gravel. So Abby, how's it feel? Are you ready to operate a semi? <laughs> maybe not, maybe, maybe just stick to a yard trailer with a, a half a yard of gravel. We did decide we could definitely get more, but we definitely didn't damage the trailer at all with this amount and we can undo it really fast and we're going to get another load today because it's going to be rainy the next couple of days. Well, it's amazing what just a half a yard does. We've got this nice entryway into the woodland graveled now and it makes sense we're going to get another load right now and i've been weeding and don't worry we're going to be making lots of videos as we continue to make progress in here one very specific one about flame throwing but we're going to make it a separate video from the gravel so you see aiden is in he's ready so we'll catch back up with you when we get our next load
Well, it's the dream team. Oh, yeah. And we've already put out two half yards, so one full yard. And it's still early in the day. We're going to get another. So we're going to keep making progress. <laughs> well, as you can see, we got another yard of gravel. We did realize uh, that our trailer was capable of handling more than a half yard. And we have some rain in the forecast. So hopefully over uh, the next couple of days, we will get some good rain, which we desperately need. And then once that clears, we'll be able to continue putting more out so that we can really get the entire woodland area graveled once and for all. The real goal for this is of course, to eliminate erosion issues, which we've had not so much recently because we just haven't been getting much rain. But I think, you know, in the summertime when we do get like bigger thunderstorms, um, having the gravel pathways is gonna make a big difference for keeping the soil where it needs to be. And that is definitely the goal. So I do hope that you will subscribe and stay tuned for our regular updates. Thanks so much for watching everybody and happy gardening.